Good morning, caregivers. Today we are talking about how to care give when family members can just be impossible. Stay with me for my caregiving chat of the day. You probably noticed that this is a different setting. I happen to be in San Diego for a few days at a meeting. So back to our subject. How do you care give when you have one family member, it could be a brother, a sister, or a parent who is just impossible. They have overbearing behaviors, they may be a bully, and those behaviors make you want to run away. You want to avoid showing up to help with caregiving issues. And your aging parent who's receiving care, or another person who's receiving care, also doesn't want to confront or argue with that, let's just call him a bully, the bully in your family. They don't want to argue with the bully in your family. In these situations, you have to find inner strength, something in you, superhuman powers, strength from up above, wherever you get your strength from. You have to find inner strength to go up against that person because more than likely, the actions that they're taking aren't helping the situation. Your aging parent or family member isn't getting the care that they need and you avoiding the situation is not the answer. You have to be that knight in shining armor, that angel, that person who shows up and says, this is not okay. We have to do something about this. You can't treat mom, dad, my brother, my sister, my loved one that way and you're driving all of us away and that's not best for the situation. You have to stand up, find that inner strength, find strength somewhere. I'll give you an example of a situation that I was in. So you all know that I have served through the courts, court appointed guardian, medical power of attorney, financial power of attorney. And I've done that in Denver for a long time. And so attorneys would contact me and they would say, I have this family, it's a crazy situation, will you accept this case? So in this situation, it was a family, four brothers, one was living with mom, and unfortunately, he was financially dependent on her, extremely controlling, controlled what she ate, her medications and everything. I was appointed the guardian, and the other three brothers said, you have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. It's going to be a constant battle this brother is going to be your worst adversary. And I know that family members, you experience these types of situations out there. If I did, I know that you do. And in this particular situation, it took me a few months, but I worked through it. But what I ended up having to do was to remove that person from the household because the overbearing, controlling, bullying brother was not giving her medications appropriately, wasn't even feeding her right, and had her living in fear that if she said anything to complain to the other three sons or to me, that she would be treated so badly by that other son. It's just not right. And these situations happen all the time. I hate to say it. Any of you watching this may be in a similar situation. In this video, there is a link to an article. Click on the link, read the article. It's called Overbearing or Caring Caregiver. How do you know the difference and what do you do? I'm Pamela Wilson. I help aging parents, aging adults, and caregivers solve caregiving problems. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. A reminder, my next support group, Saturday, March 2nd. It's actually a week from tomorrow. Join me on my website. There is a link where you can register for the support group. I'm happy to answer questions from everybody. Have a fabulous day. This is Pamela Wilson. I am here in San Diego for the next couple of days. So I will be doing my live videos every day from <laughs> this hotel room. I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.